All right, so if I've kind of gone this far, we started with basic tracing, uh, then filling in basic colors, then dividing up the drawing with cell shading style with the line tool and such. You're still able to manipulate mm -hmm. this. At this point, I've um, gone in and made a couple more changes. I put in a highlight on the other eye right here. So that was a line that I drew down so I can get a, a line to divide it to make a curve. So there's the eye. Then a little sh shadow in the middle of the eye. So that's another couple of lines that I drew there to fill that in. Let me show you again. I already drew it, but I can do it again by uh, filling in that color and it's gone. It's a separate shape. If I want to redo those just to show you how I did those, I'll put them back how they were. I just filled them in with the same color and now they're gone. They merge back into the original colors. So with the line tool, some color, I'm going to pull it somewhere around here so then I can then pull it over here somehow. And then I'm going to use the paint bucket um, to grab this color, or that color actually, and fill it in. So now I've got the highlight on the eye there, and I can double click that line to select it and delete it, and now I've got a highlight on that eye, so the dark and the light. Again, thinking in terms about that eye as a circle, it has a left and a right side, a light side and a dark side. The whole thing I did left and right, dark and light, individual elements here as I get more adept at this I can start to see that as well if I wanted more complexity with the nose I think I also did it here the nose has a has a, a right side so to speak and so I've got the brightness and the darkness of the nose to give it a little bit of depth if I want the depth here between the eyes I need a shape there line tool let's say something like this and something like this so then I refine it by pulling it here, pulling it here. I had to zoom in a lot to grab those edges. If I'm too far out, sometimes you grab the wrong thing. So if I'm zoomed out to some level like over here, it's not going to maybe let me grab it just right. It's very useful to zoom in. So I'll push this here, push this here. That's in order to create a new shape right here. In there, I'll extract this darker color and fill it in there to then get that part of the the dark. A quick way to do that is you have a tool, the eyedropper, with a keyboard shortcut I. The way I do this quickly is I press I on the keyboard to grab the color that I need and it should automatically then switch you over to the paint bucket. So instead of going to the paint bucket, clicking the color you want, and clicking it where you want, perhaps a faster way is if your hands are on the keyboard and you remembered I, just click I to extract the color. It should then jump you to the paint bucket and fill it in where you need it. Then V to switch to the very good selection tool. Maybe that's a way to remember it. Double click to select, delete. And now that part's been filled in. And I zoom out. I'm getting some depth there. So we've got the highlight, the shadow, and cell shading. You'll be able to experiment with this as much as you want when you've got the actual homework assignment. But this, of course, takes practice. I did it like this. I've had practice. I've used Animate when it was called Flash since 2005. That's more than 10 years ago I've been using various versions of Flash and Animate. And it takes time and practice, and hopefully it's fun and you want to practice it. If you have the software at home, it's even better because then you can practice whenever you're, you're, you're at home. But here, I give you the whole last hour to work on this stuff. Because if you got your grade back and you didn't get a perfect 10, you might notice I'm going to grade harshly. I expect great things from all of you. So practice with this. We're going to do the lab time in a moment, but let me give the homework. Any general questions on what we talked about today before I give you the homework? Again, practice is what matters. This that you created, um, keep it for yourself. 
if you want to turn it in and I can look at it or just show me on your screen and I can give you some opinion. You don't have to print and turn this in. This is just for your practice. What you will print to turn in is the homework, which is now inside of the network folder. Let's go back to the desktop. Let's go back to the web design folder. I've got a file for you here where, again, I'm going to provide you with some files. You pick the one you want to work on. Let me show you. Go back to the web design folder. So you want to open the web design folder, minimize uh, animate for a moment, and we'll go to the web design folder, go to the CIS 126 folder. You'll see a new folder there called Homework 2, Brush Drawing. Copy that folder to your desktop or flash drive. So you want to get a copy of what I provided there. Don't just double click it. You want to drag it out of my folder to your desktop or flash drive. It's a big file, so wait a moment for it to copy. And once it copies over, once you've made a copy, look inside of it. There's one file called All Drawings. Double click that to open it. What I've done here is I've put a variety of options for you to choose from in one file, whereas on the previous homework, they were all in a separate file. All of the drawings now are in one file. Notice you've got lots of layers. You've got 12 layers. You've got 12 possible drawings to choose from. Uh, layer 1 is the one that's currently active. This is a scan of a drawing. Um, Basically, you're going to use the techniques that we learned today and last time with the brush tool to pick any of the ones that are here, trace it, redraw it, color it. All of these are in black and white. So you have then your creativity to colorize this. So number two, I hesitate to put this one. This one's way too easy, but okay, I'll put it there. Then we've got number three. I, I think I also put them in order of complexity. You get to the higher levels, the twelfth one, that might be the hardest one to draw. Here's Scott Pilgrim, etc. So these are rather famous drawings. Oh, the, uh, the one with the, uh, the mountains? Yes. Um, they have to fill in the white space with clouds. <laughs> or spaceships or the moon or something. So there's all of these to choose from. They're in more complexity the higher you go up. Uh, with the brush tool, with what we learned, uh, you're going to trace, you're going to draw, you're going to colorize. Yes? If you do more than just one, does that count for anything? That's exactly it. That's the extra credit. So you're going to need to do one minimum. And then if you do one more, you can get one more extra credit point. That's 10% of an assignment. So the more that you do, the more extra credit you can get, but one minimum. And then uh, for some of these more complex ones, you know, there's a lot of lines, and there's a lot of broken lines, like number 11 up here. You know, there's these lines that you can see, but then they're broken, so you'll have to figure out how to colorize these things. You want to colorize <coughs> everything. You don't have to get fancy with any... Um, you know, gradients. We haven't talked about the advanced colorization yet. We've done the cell shading. So, however you want creatively to then colorize it, you then colorize it. Um, at the minimum, the basic cell shading, left and right sides of the drawings. There's plenty of them to choose from, different styles. You only need to do one minimum. Any ones besides that will be one more extra credit point, 10% of the assignment. That's going to be due on Wednesday, because we have no class on Monday. It's going to be Wednesday, Print it out with your full name on it, not your initials, with your full name on it, Print it out in color, either at home or at our printers here. We'll have lab time from now until 1 for you to practice what we did with BART or start with these, and they'll be due Wednesday. If you get it done today, great. Remember, I'm going to grade harshly. So make sure you know it looks good. And uh, that'll be Wednesday. Any questions on the homework?
Yes. Oh, I'll help you with that individually in just a moment. Any general questions? All right, so um, whatever one you choose, if you don't use the other ones, I would recommend you delete the layer. If you try to print it and the other layers are still there, I think something weird happens. So remove your layer that you're not using. If I do decide to do drawing four, delete every other layer. And I will put this file, I should have put the other one on Blackboard too. And I think I did. I'll put this one on Blackboard also in case you lose it from here. You can have a copy of it. So from now until 1, you'll have lab time to work on this and turn it in Wednesday.